Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Balaji. So today we have a very interesting SQL question. Pretty tricky also. I was asked this in an in interview and I failed to complete it during the interview. So I completed after the interview and I have a solution for it. So this question goes like this. So consider the table given below. You have game ID, you have user ID of the user and you have if the game was a victory or a loss. So it says is winner, 0 is a loss and 1 is a victory. Now the question says find the longest winning streak and longest losing streak of the given user. So if you see the user has won 4 times, the game ID 2, 3, 4, 5 and the uh, user has lost the same game 4 times. So the longest winning streak is 4 and the longest losing streak is 4. So this is a pretty uh, tricky question because this does not have a logic as such. It's a hit and trial that I had to do and I came across a logic and I'll explain you the logic now. So we have the data here, uh, we have the game ID, we have the user ID and we have the is winner status if it is a loss or a victory. Well, so uh, for this what I've done is uh, I had to first find a method to give this streak a tag. So first we have to give it a tag and then find out which is the maximum out of all these tags. So the method I've used is first I given it a row number. Uh, I'd give it a row number in an ascending order of the game ID. So it's just 1 to 11 given in a row. And uh, the next one I'll be doing is I'll be trying to partitioning this victories and the losses and again give it a row number. So what output you have got here is, so if you see here, 0 has 1 and the moment the streak breaks, a new pattern gets formed that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and when the streak breaks again, a new pattern gets formed that is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 0 breaks to 1 here and it's 5 and 6. So this is how uh, the pattern gets formed and this is where you partition by the is winner and order by game id and later you take a difference and taking a difference gives us a new pattern that is whenever the pattern breaks so it's zero here it's zero here it's a pattern of one 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 and we have pattern of one 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 and when we have zero again the difference is four and when we have one year the dif uh, difference is five so this essentially gives us a tag so with this we can actually uh, use it and count uh, apply a count function rank it by descending and take the maximum value which has repeated so i'll actually write the query for you and explain it step by step so that you can understand it at each look each part of the query on how this gets executed so let's go on to the query all right so i already have a table here so like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to follow the same steps and explain it to you step by step on how this problem gets solved. So we have the output here. Let's copy the columns. We need them. Comma. I'll now apply a row number. Row number over. order by game id as rw so uh, we have a row number for each of these game ids so each session has a unique row number now uh, we are going to give it a, a segregated row number segregated by is winner status so i'll do this row number over Partition by is winner order by game id as rw2 right so if you see here all the zeros have 1 2 3 4 5 all the ones have 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's ordered by the game id 
so it might be looking confusing let me give it an order by statement order by one so if you see here every time the pattern breaks a new pattern is shown here uh, yeah it's one one two three four two three four five five six and that essentially gives us an idea on how where the pattern breaks i shall make this a cte master as it all from master all right order by one all right now let's take a difference so i'll copy this comma r w r w 2 so these are the other two rows comma r w minus r w 2 ha ah, we got a tag so for every change in pattern we are getting a tag here uh, this is what we are going to use as a master total total as so this becomes our data so we are going to work on this select all from total alright well we do not need the entire data we just need the difference ok I will give this as a difference yeah we need a difference we need if it's a winner or not and the game id so these are all unique columns so i'll take the difference comma is winner comma you want to count which of these which which of these uh, differences have maximum value so i'm going to use game id has maximum value all right we'll have to group it by two by one comma two right so if you see uh, the is winner if it is a loss uh, we have one loss one loss streak and another loss streak of four continuous losses and we have in the victory we have four victories in a streak and we have another streak of two victories if you see here one loss four losses four wins and two wins that's what that's what is shown so we need the maximum value for both the loss and the victory so I'm, i'll give it a rank function comma rank over order by so given this is an aggregate function and it wouldn't have been executed yet so i'm using the same descending as ranking so do you see here uh, okay we haven't partitioned so it's just giving a random rank based on low to high I'll partition it. Partition by if it's is winner. Yes. So if you see the is winner column, uh, for all the losses we have maximum losses four that is given the rank one. For all the victories we have maximum losses four that is given the rank one. We just have to fetch the rank one here. So I'll make this as a sub query. Select all from. where ranking equals 1 and we just need if it is the victory or a loss and the maximum value so we will take is winner and maximum value alright so we have the maximum value of a loss loss is 0 so maximum value of loss is 4 and maximum value of uh, victory as 4 so let's middle the data to understand it better so let me make this 0 and 0 so we have a streak of 4 losses sorry a streak of 4 wins and a streak of 6 losses that is the maximum so if i run it here yes we have 
streak of losses maximum losses 6 and streak of maximum wins as 4 and uh, say we have only one user id here if i am going to add another user id we just have to make a small change here and this logic should apply for anything and everything so it's 11 12 13 okay i'll give this as 1 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 1 up until now we only had one user id so we didn't group it by user id anywhere so let's group it by user id now user id let me the user id here let's call user id here and user id in the x automost one so we will have to also group it right we have 1 2 3 1 as uh, 2 1 uh, 1 losing streak which has 2 losses and 1 2 3 4 as 1 losing streak with 6 losses and 1 2 3 4 as 1 winning streak with 4 losses now i change this to 1 here yeah 1 2 3 1 has a winning streak and a losing streak of 1 1 each and 1 2 3 4 has a winning streak and losing streak of 4 and 6 each well this is how you get the winning streak and losing streak and if you have any other metric here you can just add them and partition them by the same metric and you are going to get the value uh, if you have any doubts you can put down your doubts in the uh, comments below i will be happy to answer it I'll also put up the create table in the description which you can use and uh, practice it by yourself. And uh, do share this with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for uh, interviews and this could be a very important question which might be asked somewhere. So, thank you.